Let's play Light and Darkness. This is Zycox, and uh, I apologize. The last time in the video, I had uh, some trouble with my save game, so um, I had to abruptly end the video. But yes, the last time we beat Hell, the uh, the Dark Inquisitors, and Hell of the Darkness Religion, and we got some nice loot. This big power throw crystal, and as you can see, some nice armor, some nice swords as well, and typical helmet of Dark Knights, which are, as you can see, significantly better than, which is significantly better than that of the Dark Hunters. The Dark Crossbow, as you can see, is pretty good actually it's comparable to a siege crossbow and yes and as you can see the dark pole axe it's not a great weapon for you you or your companions but as you can see it is quite deadly it is employed by the dead eyes so you will want to be more careful around them um, just not underestimate them and as you can see uh, we also get clue number three and the commander saber and I will level my few troops that have leveled up and let's see what we got this is the commander saber as you can see this is an excellent weapon it is not a legendary weapon though, but it is unique in this game. It cannot be bought and it can only be obtained from hell. Um, it is worse than my tank sword, however, and uh, because it's not a legendary weapon, it will not give any stat bonus or skill bonuses. Um, but it has very nice weapon reach, it is pretty fast, so if you want to give this to, a, to one of your companions, you are free to do so. And this is clue number three, the dim candlelight, the lethal dinner, they saw everything. So let's see, let's see who will... Rolf has leveled up. Let's give him some points in, firearms. And uh, yes, hmm. I do like the dark short sword, however, mm, because it's very very fast and it doesn't have too much reach, which is not so bad when you're on when you are sieging. But we are not in any siege at this time. But I feel inclined to give the commander saber to Imira because it was used by hell as such I think it is a fitting weapon for a female warrior I can give Rolf a slightly better version he already has one the 142 not much difference um he has the nice pirate X. It has nice damage, it is not slow. Hmm. Oh well, let's just stick with the pirate X. Although I just realized that um upgrading the weapons should be pretty cheap, so I will be confiscating their weapons and smith them up. Oh, I already got watchers. And the commander saber. Although I could actually leave a power strike crystal for the commander saber, I'm not sure. 
Hmm. Oh no, let's just upgrade the weapons. Sell off the loot. Now let's see. We don't need this, we don't need you. Big shield crystal, big iron flash, power throw. Nobody is using power throw, so I guess I can sell that as well. Big shield. Do we need that? Hmm. No, I don't think we need that. Then let's talk to the arms person. Forge, improve the weapon. Dark short sword. No, actually we can pr compare upgrading a chip dark short sword to balanced will cost 558 and uh, upgrading a plain dark short sword to balance will be cheaper yes so it is only a little bit cheaper though so um, yes so you don't need to worry about this a lot if you find weapons, rare weapons like the pirate's axe and they are not in plain condition, you can always make them good. Hmm. Dark crossbow, will you even use that? Wooden shield. Dark crossbow. How much does it cost anyway? Oh, it's not so expensive. Let's just do it and why not? And the wood shield is just plain. It should be super cheap too. Yes, <laughs> 38 dinners, that's nothing. Right, balance. Oh, that looks so much better. Uh, commander saber oh why not let's just upgrade that one too but I believe it will be much more expensive oh yes okay guys you better make good use of the weapons I'm giving you now Oh yes, significantly better. And Borcha, the bandit, gets the pirate's axe. Yes, let's not sell clue number three. We will need that. What? Oh yes, the balanced star crossbow. Wow, it has really, really good stats. And as I realize, I have not, I do not have any bolts. But as of now, I think we can loot bolts from our enemies. So, oh wow, we have invested quite a significant amount money so let's just sell some salt and check the mainline quest yes we have to defeat more dark knights and go to some cities and find out news in the taverns And that's what we will do. Some mountain bandits. Um, you should make for a quick buck. Oh no, I don't. I don't want to face them just alone. Okay, they they are not interested in teaming up on me, which is a pity. Trade, trade, trade. Away with the salt. And uh, I believe we have a 
incurred some losses, so we can actually get uh, some manhunters. Oh, level up. Let's put one point into trainer. And uh, surgery. And uh, yes. Come over here. Oh, we have 31 troops. I guess the rest is still wounded. But not to worry. I'm guessing that me and my companions will be able to tip the balance in our favor quite. Oh, okay. That was rather enlightening. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so even if you have very good armor, you will want to watch out for lancers and not rush into crouched lancers. Yes, so let's wait for them to come to us and take our revenge. And uh, as I can see, actually, these are Vagio horsemen who are quite. Quite um, high level troops. So they're not to be underestimated, but we got them on the run already. Ah. enemy into chaos uh, I guess my horse is lame oh it's not I guess I'm just not a very fast rider yet Very nice. And well, not so bad. Loot. Ah, yes, Imura still has riding one. So, um, yes, but she can use these, and I will upgrade my mail chosses later, but let's head to Kudan. The Corsa has already healed, which is nice because Corsas are very nice too. Give armor to. And that's what we will do. Combination. Make up. Corsa. Mm, yes, this one. Corsair with war armor gray, yes. And just, let's just compare the chain armor. Yes, as you can see the hunter chain armor makes the hunter significantly slower. While the Corsair actually gets really nice armor. So, the Corsair is what I will be riding. Very nice, let's go to Kuraf and oh, I still need to get rid of my prisoners. Ransom Broker, yes.
and oh, I'm not getting a good price on fur, but I'm getting iron sheep. So I will head to Dirim for trade. Hurry up. Yes, that's a good price for fur, but we are actually not getting a good price for the iron. And, uh, oh. Hmm. So let's head to Sargoth. And trade our. We are not getting any good price for our iron. But it is not our intention to become preoccupied with trading here. So, oh, I still need to talk to the taverns about some more info if you remember mainline quest go to some cities and find out news in the taverns and maybe we will find some news because the starhorn uh, indicates a very strange clue which is little yes the holy force is locked somewhere or it is there to represent the highest glory for the strongest so maybe some kind of Yes, what are people talking about? Well, King Ragnar is... Okay, so... We got nothing special here, I guess. Let's run to Tyr. nothing and yes again no good price for our iron let's head to Suno Yes, will Karl Harlos, King Harlos is looking for some people to wage war. Come on, yes. A slightly better price for iron. Nothing too great though. Let's head to Yelon. Tavern. Oh, belligerent drunk. Do you have any idea who I am? Um, uh, actually, yes, yes, I do know who you are, sir. Please forgive me, your grace. It must be drink. I will leave it now. I thought as much. Now remove yourself from here. here do I need this crystal actually I don't need it let's just get rid of it as well so Yelkala I don't think we need to fear any bandits which is rather nice Yes, nothing. So, wow, Nara is already um, Swadian territory. Rolf, want to go home for a look or for another drink? Whatever, I 
care much more about the traces of the darkness for us. I've been looking forward to your answer. Why would you help me? Cooperation. I never said I would help, do I? Okay, cooperation. Then why not someone else? How much do you know about King Leon? Most are minstrel fabrications, I suppose. Another part is from Counteracies. And do you believe it? I am not sure, but I hope it's true. And that is why I chose you. However, the more I know, the more I learn about Karadia, the more I feel it's unreal. People here are all pursuing immediate, their immediate interests. Will there really be someone who will inherit the spirit of King Leon? At least one, trust me. And I do hope that Rolf has been referring to us. But we are not getting any information. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe we have to talk to taverns in every from every faction. And oh, as you uh, didn't notice that, Marnet invites you for a talk in the camp. What are people talking about? Nothing. Okay, well, I may need you more. I've got good relations with Marnet, uh, and I guess this is starting to pay up now. So let's talk to Marnet. Marnet! Anything wrong? I led a caravan through here to Halmar several months ago. I heard there are fine horses here, so we decided to purchase some for sale. I know you know what happened after the Kyrgyz ambushed us on the way and I lost everything. You are a very unlucky man because you did not know me that time. I know every pass in the region. If I had been there, there would have been no need to detour neither would you have been ambushed by bandits? Whoa, watch the sky, quick. Uh, what is it? Some cows just flew through it. Uh, okay. Do you know where to find the horse market? Of course, you'll leave from Talga towards the south, then you'll see the horse market. If you want to find some good horses there, I would be glad to lead you there. What are you talking about? Who is the best fighter? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, this is a rather, we are getting a mix of uh, conversations, so yes, actually the Marnet conversation is finished here, and yes, and this is the, uh, some kind of funny bug, okay, who is the best fighter, uh, have they got a conclusion? Of course me, I beat numerous bandits, heard of the story of Mar about Marnet and the 40 thieves, that's me, haha, <laughs> do not do not believe my smiling face, my anger could even scare myself. Why, yeah, yeah, yeah. No wrong, haha, <laughs> you scare yourself only. <laughs> and Borcha, what else can you do except stealing horses? In the last battle, why didn't you steal the horse of that cavalry who was chasing you all the way? You think it's a piece of cake, huh? I can empty a stable under a hundred guards' eyes. By the way, cut their throats and in a cool breeze if I'd like to. Ah, you watch yourself tonight, huh? Should I, shall I show you then? A hundred guards? Wow, a hundred scarecrows, isn't it? Boaster, dare you fight me one on one? Why not? The loser has to wash the socks for a whole month. Come on. Okay. So this is the... Mixed up conversation and I guess what was lynching them was my horse running into someone so we got a very yes a mix of conversations and yes And now he's following me? Wow, it's the first time I'm encountering this bug. 
Morcha, he's probably looking for Marnet. And where is Marnet? Is that Marnet? Yes, I think if I talk to Marnet, they, those two will start fighting. Oh, okay. You see, socks in my bag. Don't forget the washing. Ha ha ha. Well, I agree to wash the socks, but not yours. Okay, okay. Two birds of a feather, you two. The socks. Let me wash them. Oh, thank you, Emira. Let me help you with the tents. So, Emira is a very, very nice girl, as you can see. And, uh, yes, this was a very funky bug. So, yes, occasionally it is fun to go into your party, walk around, and you can see some funny conversations. But, in this case, we've got the horse market unlocked so let's take a look another group of dog hunters but I am more interested in dark knights so let's just leave the hunters alone and head to Tulga and South of Talga, as you can see, a horse market. Yes, we already found a place. So let's go there. You enter the horse ground. And here we are, horse merchant. Hello stranger, let me guess, if you are not a host trader then you must know some of them well. No one knows this place besides them. Heh, <laughs> maybe you're right. Hey, of course, after crossing the Paris and the mountain, it is another continent. No one will come except horse traders. Uh, how can I, how may I serve you? Let me see your horses. Alright, sire. And, oh yes, he's got some very different horses. Talek horses, which are pretty, were pretty nice, and some different armor. But um, yes, these Talek horses are not compatible with all usual armor that you have, which is kind of a pity. So you will usually combine the Telek horse medium armor with a Telek horse white or black, they are the same. Now we've got only whites. For a uh, final result of armor 48 and the speed of 42. And this it's a good mix of good armor and good speed. And yes, if you like that then that's wh what you can get. This is my personal favorite Courser. It's a little bit sl um, It has even more armor, more speed. Of course, it's more difficult to get because the war armor is really is really rare and expensive. But yes, in any case, you have the choice of asking, do you have any better horses? Of course, there are many fertile prairies which are rich in special horses nearby but there are also troubles the Kurgan raiders show up frequently so no horse traders have come for a long time horses will be traded here only if the Kurgids have been if the Kurgid trouble has been annihilated if not this market will be closed down sooner or later of course uh, you wouldn't do it for nothing, so I'll pay you 800 dinars for each band of Black Kurgut Raiders. Okay, so we got a nice little side quest to hunt for Black Kurgits, which should not be a problem anymore. We've got a bigger party, and uh, yes, compared to the time when we were being chased around by Baheshtur and his valorous Kurgit raiders we are more than ready this time 
There are some raiders, let's lure them and we've got them. For 54, oh that's quite quite a number. But we should be fine. And this video has gone on for a while, so I will be beating these Black Kurgan Raiders and then I will end the video and continue our quest, our heroic quest to save Calradia the next time. There they are, let's have our revenge. We will not take a beating like last time. Yes, face my new tank sword. Yes, and my sleeve. Slaver Chiefs and my Squadion Knights are doing a good job, assisted by my valorous sister guards. Oh, missing. In case you didn't uh, notice uh, we are dominating them and wow we are actually not having any any casualties very nice and uh, yes black Kurgan raiders can also not be captured so there's no use in trying to take them prisoners but uh, in any case these black Kurgan raiders of course are not uh, fully made out of Black Kurgan Guards uh, as opposed to Baheshtur's little troop. So yes, so do not think that any of these Black Kurgan Raiders will be as difficult as the encounter with Baheshtur. But I guess if you were better prepared than me at that time, I guess then he would not be any problem at all anyway. Some nice arrows, Kurgit helmet, but this is not something that I will be needing now anymore. Let's just take the loot and uh, level up my few troops as well as my companions and the Mira is ripe for um, okay this time I will give her writing and uh, yes let's put it all into firearms which we will hopefully get soon Borcha Borcha, you get another point in shield just to make you a little bit more durable. Marnet is, yes, he's becoming quite a beast. Yes, very good job. And we will be richer by 800 dinars as soon as we talk to that. Um, to that horse trader. It's a little bit expensive, but we got the money. For good food. So, and with this, I will end the video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.